This is Michael Perozo. This is my beer story. And this is the Thirsty Sasquatch. Uh, tonight was a pretty special night. And if you saw the mural just a second ago inside the Thirsty Sasquatch, it's, uh, it's a mural of the Columbia River Gorge. Uh, I've been out there and you've probably, uh, if you've watched any of the vlogs, uh, I was out there talking about my love for the Columbia River Gorge a few weeks ago uh, at uh, Backwoods' fifth anniversary party. Um, tonight was a special night here. Uh, Everybody's Brewing was here along with Thunder Island Brewing for a night to benefit Friends of the Gorge. Uh, if you've seen the news lately, and I know maybe nationally it might be a little, I don't know, under the radar or maybe unfortunately buried under some other news um, with with what's happening with Hurricane Irma uh, and and what happened in Houston before that there's a lot going on in the world but here in our neck of the woods the Pacific Northwest uh, some some kids went out on a trail called the Eagle Tr Eagle Creek Trail uh, and and these kids teenagers i shouldn't call them kids they're teenagers that probably should have known better uh that were 15 years old i believe um they headed out the eagle Tree, eagle creek trail and, and lit off some fireworks those fireworks have resulted in uh at least the the latest numbers i've seen is a 30,000 acre fire that has destroyed parts of this beautiful scenic area of the Columbia River Gorge that uh, I mean I, I just think about all the times from when we first moved down into this southwest Washington area on the Columbia River that I took my family out to uh, there's a place called Vista House just type Vista House into Google and you'll see images immediately that will just move you uh, because of just how incredible and gorgeous this area is of the Columbia River Gorge. But now imagine in those pictures what you're seeing down below you there between the Vista House and the gorge. There's a community there called Cascade Locks um, that uh, is still under level two evacuation. Um, meaning that the town itself, everyone in the town is prepared to leave on moment's notice. Uh, the fire uh, last that I uh, heard was only 7% contained. It's still burning. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, it's just a, a tragic, tragic thing. And here tonight at the Thirsty Sasquatch was a fundraiser for friends of the gorge to support the firefighters support the recovery efforts of everything that's going on right there so a dollar per pint was donated by the folks here uh, this is a great tap room in uptown vancouver washington uh, super cool uh, what they've done here uh, and just just a great spot no matter when you come here uh, but it was particularly great in that they had a a benefit tonight for these breweries in the gorge, uh, everybody's brewing and Thunder Island Brewing, which Thunder Island Brewing is actually the most affected brewery uh, in, in in this tragedy that I'm talking about. In that uh, they're still closed right now. Um, the again, that city of Cascade Locks is under level two evacuation, so a lot going on there where employees are displaced. There's no place for them to go to work right now. Um, brewing is is difficult. I heard that just just recently here, I believe today even, uh, they they were finally able to um, get another one of their beers going. Their fresh hop beers coming out. Uh, so I'm extremely excited about that. Uh, but it was just really fun 
to be there with uh, someone from the brewery here tonight. Josh was here from the brewery. Pat was here from Everybody's Brewing. And to support these guys, uh, knowing the fear that they've gone through in the last few days, even though the fire itself hasn't, uh, fortunately and thankfully, the fire itself has not resulted in any loss of uh, personal buildings uh, or property. So no businesses, no homes, uh, at least at last reports, have been destroyed yet. But they are in the path of danger. Uh, so great night here. I'm going to put a link down below uh, to something that uh, Caroline from Thunder Island Brewing, she's one of the owners there. Um, her and David are the, are the owners there. And uh, they put together a GoFundMe to support the, the recovery efforts, to support the firefighters. Um, I'm going to put that link down below if you take a look at it. Uh, and if you have an opportunity uh, to donate anything towards that effort, I encourage you to. I'm going to. Uh, and and I just uh, I, I think you should read about it, find out what's happening there. Um, you know, and, and that's not to say that, that any donation efforts or things that, that you might feel moved to do for the folks affected by, by Irma or the folks in Houston, uh, not discounting any of that at all, but this is a real thing that's happening very close to home for us uh, that I encourage you to support. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, so gosh. Once again, I've started uh, one of these almost daily vlogs, and I, I call them almost daily now because I know I missed a few days. I tried to do daily. It's almost daily. It's what it is. Um, but I like to end with a beer question. I like to hear from you and find out, uh, you know, what you're thinking about. Um, and uh, yeah, so, hmm. I'm gonna just go with the Columbia River Gorge. Uh, the Columbia River Gorge includes breweries like Everybody's, Thunder Island, Backwoods Brewing, Freebridge Brewing, Freem, uh, Full Sail, Double Mountain, Solera Brewing's out there, uh, Logsdon is out there, uh, Walking Man is out there. Uh, I'm going off of memory, so I've probably forgot someone who who uh, might see this vlog and and let me know I forgot them, and I apologize. But uh, again, all off the top of my head right now, those breweries, you've probably come across them at some point. The Columbia River Gorge is full of great breweries that are distributed not just here in the Northwest, but throughout uh, throughout America. Um, a, a lot of those breweries, uh, you may have heard of one of those on that list. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite Columbia Gorge brewery? Um, leave it in the comments below. Look for that link for the GoFundMe below. And whatever that brewery is that's your favorite Columbia Gorge brewery, they're probably having a tough time right now with the fires that are going on out there. And I encourage you, go grab one of their beers. Uh, we'll see you next time, hopefully tomorrow, on an almost daily beer vlog. Cheers.